Five Candic versus Five Six Hour. Let's find out which one is the best. But before we do that, I wanna find out which one Jason shoots the fastest. Shoot it ready? Ready. Three point one. Okay. This. Shoot it ready? Ready. Three point nine. Hmm. I don't know. Let's find out. Welcome back to Class Problems, guys. Kai over here, and we've got Jason with us. What's going on, folks? And the battle continues. Yeah. So we've had Glock versus Sig. Okay. S uh, Sig defeated Glock. Then we're like, you know what? Let's give Glock one more chance. And we put that against Kanik. Kanik defeated Glock. And I'm pretty sad because I like Glocks. All right. But hey, you got to be honest. With that being said, this is the championship round. We've got Sig versus Kanik over yep. here. So now I'm going to ask you this, Jason. Yep. Do you have any experience? With Canics, I've got some experience on them, not as much as I have with Sig. I mean, I carry a Sig, um, but I don't know. I'm I'm pretty open. Okay, pretty open. all right. So, right off the gate, you said you carry Sig, yep. so you've got more experience yeah. with yeah. Sigs. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna try not to be biased over here. I'm gonna try. I'm okay, because <laughs> we did it with Aaron, and Aaron loved Sig, and he shot better with yep. it too. I mean, for me, guys, I honestly am not a Sig guy. Um, it's grown on me. Mm -hmm. I just I have zero experience with it mm -hmm. and same with Canik it's, I've got no experience with Canik and it's growing on me, too mm -hmm. So I'm right in the middle for this. All right. Some people may say hey Canik is Turkish. Hey, you got the Turkish background trust me Not at all guys. I'm gonna be right in the center and be honest over here. Okay. Give it a try So we've got multiple different models over here. We try to make this as much as we can apples to apples right, right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you got over there? Got the P365XL Spectre. Granted, it does have a red dot on it, so we're just gonna turn it off for this test because, you know, we just didn't want us just co-witness. It's all good to go. We didn't want to have to do anything kind of crazy rigmaroos, but matching that up with the the Canik Mate MC9. So it's about the same size, of almost. course. Almost. 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 Almost same size. And you know what? They're both, you know, the micro compact, sub compact, in that neighborhood. I mean, yeah. it's micro compact. And uh, iron sights, yep. good to go. That's about it. What do you say? You want to shoot these? You know, a couple mags for me, a couple mags for you, whatever. Yeah. See how it feels? Yeah, let's see how, we'll see how it right. goes. Let's start the battle. All right, round one, we're going to have micro compact, sub compact, hybrid, you know. So you got the SIG, yep. and we got the Canix MC9 over here. Yep. Go ahead and dump that mag, and then I'll give this one to you. Then I'll do the same. Sure. So did you use the dot? No, I didn't. The dot is off. There you go. I'm um, just verified. Very good. Other now, than that, before you say anything, oh. right here. And guys, we're shooting about 20 yards out to a little silhouette. That's oh. it. Interesting. Hmm. hmm. All right, my turn. All right. And we'll talk about what we think. Yeah. All right, so I've got the uh, SIG over here. <sighs> so. Okay, not bad. Not bad. There you go. Swap that out for you. Thanks, sir. All right, we're loaded now. <sighs> Man, that was that was pretty close. Yeah? What do you think? That was pretty close. Um, I, I'm gonna honest, be honest with you. I the group is too short for me. It is extremely short. Exactly. Yeah. I was more comfortable with the uh, Sig. So. Yeah. 
recoil impulse was about the same for me. Ah, uh, that one's a little bit more snappier for me. Really? Yeah, I noticed that my second round follow-up shot just kind of yeah. jumped off a little bit. With this, I could actually grip it down. That might have to do with its texture and the grip. But the grip too. I, mm, it's just a tad too short. You're with, right. With my big, you know, Harambe hands, but still. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that, okay. that that one was a tad bit jumpier for me, so I will say that. All right, so yeah, well, which one wins this round? Uh, if I had to do it off of one, I'm gonna give it to the Sig. Yeah, yeah, me too, and that's because I don't have a really, let me show this to the yeah. camera like, like that. I got big hands too, just like Jason, and just yeah. not there, I'd have to get that extension, and I know Canik has that. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, it's just this, let me show you, so that way you guys completely understand what I'm trying to say. So it's this, so you can have that, and this would probably give me a better experience, but then that you'll give up on the concealability. Yeah. A little bit, that's all. I would say, you know what dude, I'm with you. I'd give this to Sig because it just felt better in my hand yeah. due to that grip. I will say this is like a tad bit easier to conceal because it's not as chunky thick, per yeah. se, but thick with three C's. Um, <laughs> yeah, I Sig, Sig for me. Yeah, I mean, trigger wise, uh, I felt like Sig's trigger is pretty good. I it mean, is. Canik is not bad either. Sights. Oh no, the, oh no, the Canik definitely had a great trigger. Yeah. It just was. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's do it. So here we go for round two. Got the Sig M18 compact. I think it's good to go. So. It is good to go. And we've got the, yeah, against Canik TP90 Elite subcompact. Now, if you can tell the grip length, it's gonna be very similar, if not the same as the micro compact the Canik MC9. However, it's just going to be, there you go, thicker. So MC9 is gonna be narrower, a little bit thinner. So that's the only difference. So it's more comparable to the M18 because sizes are about the same. Yeah. You guys can just see that. So there you go, apples to apples. Iron sights, go for it, brother. Let's see. Thick with two seats. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I, I, I actually have a comment on that, but let me shoot. All right. Because I watched you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. Good to go. Let's see how this shoots. Come on, Marine Corps. Good. Okay, here you go. Let's give that one a try. Go for size. <sighs> mm. yeah. Did I miss any? That was it all on? Uh, I didn't look about on. Okay. So here's what I gotta say right off the gate. M18, that grip is too fat for me, man. I don't have small hands. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I will say this, that actually shot better for me than this. Well, it did, because I watched you. You yeah. start spraying right off the gate, yeah. and then you kind of tapered it yeah. down with this. This one you were on pretty much every time. Yeah. It, again, that's the beautiful thing about it being this gun. It is extremely modular. So you can go and buy an X5 grip module X frame, all this stuff, and it, I mean, Sig basically built that into the yeah. pistol. So you can, it's a hodgepodge or whatever you want to make it, you can do it. So, it, it I liked the way this one felt in my hand compared mm. to the M18. Mm. This doesn't mean this feels amazing in my hand. I gotta, I gotta emphasize that it yeah. just doesn't. It feels pretty similar to that MC9, right. a little bit slightly thicker. However, this shot better. What I don't like about this is these narrow down. I don't like this whole triangle thing and the okay. really narrow sights. Yeah. You know, I just like the Beretta, uh, you know. But it's just not for me. I don't like it. I like, maybe because I've been shooting Glocks all these years and I like that flat uh, top. Mm -hmm. I don't like this whole thing. You know what I'm talking yeah. about, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, overall, so that's why the sights were kind of okay for me. I like the SIG sights better. Yeah. But overall, I'm just, with a very slow, slight margin, I'm going to go ahead and give this to the Canik. I'm ever so slightly the Canik. Yeah, this is modular, but that shootability today definitely took it. So yeah. All yeah. right. Well, let's try let's number move three. on to the M17 versus that 
SFT. Let's do it. Whatever that was, I'll tell you. <laughs> and round three. Got the M17 here. Kind of a full size boy going on. Exactly, the Army sidearm, right? Yep. And we've got the Canik Mete SFT, and I love this cyber blue color combination. And I know I talked about it a few times in a couple of videos. Love this thing. Just looks wise, I think this looks amazing. But let's give it a try, see which one we like better. All right. Let's All try. right. Jason, you are on every time. Longer like sight radius. Anything. Yeah. Well, you, the bar is set up high for you. All right. <laughs> Let's see what's All going right. on. First time firing this, so um, we'll see how it runs. This one, but it was about almost the same accuracy. It was, and honest to God, this feels good in the hand. Both of them do. This one, uh, uh, feels better, but uh, okay. Let me not let me not ruin it. Right. <laughs> Don't paint my thoughts on here. All right, let's go. The sights are okay, not bad. So. All right. Well, Try this on for size. About that. All right, this All right. again. Ah, those sights. <laughs> so, which yeah. one? Which one are you uh, right. vibing with? First of all, I'm gonna be t uh, honest with you. The recoil impulse was better. Way better. With the M17. 100%. This felt snappier. So, recoil right there. Good to go. Sight right there. Good to go. Feeling in the hand. About, I mean, I'd say about the same. This is still pretty fat, so I like that. Yeah. Maybe slightly this guy. Yeah, yeah the contour on that is just a tad bit just better. Just a tad bit. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, I don't, against. Trigger was decent. You know, about nothing crazy about it. Yeah. But overall, I think I was more accurate with this guy. D ditto. So, M17 for me, man. Yeah. All right, well, let's go check out the... You know what that one. means? What? Wait, that means SIG 2, Canic 1. Oh. So, what's mm -hmm. next up there? This oh, we're starting to get some... Uh, some big stuff. Big stuff right, right here. Let's go for it. All right. All right, here we go, round four. I've got the SIG P320 X VTAC version. This thing is like kind of the big boy tactical version and the enhanced grip module, so I'm definitely vibing with this. That looks really good, and we've got the uh, Canic. TP9 Elite Combat with a threaded barrel. It does have an iron sight over here. I'm gonna try to keep the front sight on target and try to shoot it without using the dot, just to make it fair. Right. But let's give it a try, see how you like it. Let's see, let's roll it. Mm. All right, I mean, shot pretty good. It just did, it did. A couple misses, that's all. <laughs> Let's see what this one's about. Hmm. Interesting. All right. This was actually the first time I shot that gun. Really? Yeah, first okay. time. All right. All right, we got a little something, something over here. Malfunction. There you go. Mm. Hmm. Again, this was snappier for me. Really? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to politely disagree. They uh -huh. were about even for me. Yeah, this was snappier for me. Um, I don't know what it is. I love this grip module. First of all, it just does its jazz. But that was actually very impressive as well. I, I like that. If I had to compare both of these and say which one beat out the other, honest to God, they're about equal for me. Um, what are your thoughts? You know what I like? Yeah, you know, what I think about this. Mm -hmm. Canic triggers, and uh, I gotta show this real quick over here. So if you look at this trigger, guys. So you press it, it's all the way at the wall, right? Mm -hmm. And then it breaks. Again, 
all the way at the wall, then brakes. I don't like that, and this guy right here, if you have it, it's kind of at the wall, but it's good, and brakes. So this was way better, way better for me, uh, trigger, so I like the trigger better on this one than that guy. So that was mine, and uh, sights, I can't really comment on it, red dot on it. Yeah, sights um, on here are good to go. They know what they're doing. Yeah, I, I think, and I had one little hiccup. It just didn't feed. It could be a magazine. It's cold Honestly. out here. So, yeah. so that's it. I think I'm gonna go with Sig. All right. For Very me, slight it, margin. For me, it's even. Well, yeah. you gotta pick one. <sighs> All right. <laughs> we well, can't. honest to God, the sights on here were definitely better. So, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to Sig. All right. Yeah. So what we're saying over here is, Sig is up three. Canix got one. Mm. But you know what? Canix got a really, really nice gun up its on its sleeves. It's that little competition race gun. Okay, let's see how that rolls. Let's give that one a try. And round five is going to be the speed race guns. Canik's got the Mete SFX Pro, the threaded barrel over here. And we've got the P226X5 Legion. Now, I gotta say this. All right, so Sig is up three, Canik is up one. Of course, Canik practically lost this one. However, hopefully Canik goes out strong. We'll see. Now, it's not really gonna be apples to apples. This thing has got a comp. Now, Canik doesn't have a comp, so the recoil impulse is probably gonna be better with that one. And Canik's got the polymer body. This is not a Rival S, right? It's a polymer body. And the steel frame. That's got the steel frame. Yeah. So there's that. Either way, recoil impulse is probably gonna be better there. So we'll kind of not use that. All right. All right. All right. Give it a try. Let's see what it runs. but I don't know. I, I got a couple of comments on that one okay. for you. All right. Now, here's another thing, guys. I've never fired this pistol before. In fact, I was gonna shoot right off camera. Guys are like, hey, don't do it. Let's do it on camera. First time, here. Let's see how it is. It's a heavy guy, though. Really heavy. So, all right. I mean, shoots really well. Here you go. All right. Canic wins. I choose Canic. On this one I do. It just shot better for me. Softer recoil all day long. Very much so softer recoil. That front recoil. sight was like right here. This is snappier, of course given. But man, this trigger. So this is single action only. So let's let's break that yeah. down. Oh, well, this will... is too technically. If you look at it, look at that. It's all the way cocked. Single action. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, hammer fire. Uh, yeah. I, I get your striker yeah. fire. I will say for shootability, this because of the steel frame does it for me. But on pure nature of the whole gun, the Kanek actually did it for me. <laughs> I wanted so, to say this. Yeah. You shot that one well. I mean, you mm -hmm. shot them both well, right? Mm -hmm. But dude, you were your grouping on that steel was a little bit tighter on with this guy. It was, it was. Yeah, I noticed that. Especially with this guy, first two or three rounds, you were off target and then mm -hmm. you kind of brought it back. Mm -hmm. So you were better with Canik. Yeah. So for me, I was more accurate with this guy, I think. And the trigger overall, I mean Canik, I gotta come on man, look at this thing. Just right at 90. Bam. That's it. Yeah. I mean. Hey, good job, Canik. This is the gun for me. All right, well, I'll, 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 for this round, I'll give it to the Canik as well. How close was it for you? It was extremely close. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty close. It and that, down. that grip was fat for me too. The grip is fat, which is fine. I don't mind it. This little thumb ledge that you get to your race ledge or race pedal, whatever you yeah. want to call it, it does its job 100%. If Canik could incorporate that maybe stock out of the box, I'd like it a little bit more, but uh, Mm, slight edge. Slight edge. Slight Either, edge. Can I do something real yeah. quick? Can you hold this? Yeah. Can you hold this? Mm -hmm. Since I've never fired this thing. Go ahead. Just want to fire it again. All right. <laughs> That's 
started going to the right, came back. Now this is, it's a flat shooter. Are you gonna shoot that again? Nah, nah. Okay. That's it, man. So conclusion, Canik gets two points and six hour gets three. So with, this, with that being said, six hour wins once that again. Championship round, I love it. Yep, a anything to add? Um, other than that, this this actually surprised me a lot. So I'm 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 up there with it. Yeah, that, that's a good race gun, man. It is, it is. It is. Feels good. And I'm sure price point wise. Oh, this totally beats that. Out so of let's talk about that because yeah. that's very important for me and a lot of folks that's watching right now. But uh, overall, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section your thoughts on this. Do you think we were fair? I mean, I believe I was 100% fair here. Mm. And now that six hour dominated a couple times. Okay. Well, well, actually not a couple times. This is the third time. Yep. Uh, who should we put it against next? Um, what are your thoughts? I think something around the world of CZ would be a very good. CZ? Yeah. Do, do, they, do they have the line up? 9 PO7, SPO1. Shadow. Uh, Shadow yeah. 2. Shadow. The huh. Shadow Compact. Mm. Mm. Dude, that's a good fight. That is. I like that. Let us know your comments, your thoughts in the comment section. I can predict it right now. Walther. Wow. The PDP. Dude. But that, Walther doesn't have anything cool. else though. Yeah, they got the uh they got the race gun and some others. Yeah. Do they have little compact mm -hmm. guns, the micro compact guns. PPK. Well it's not in you gotta buy it now. That's the last run of their PP whatever the fuck it is. Um they literally said, we're not making this gun after this year. <laughs> That's it. Hmm. Um, hmm. Well, how about this? We will continue to think about this. Yeah. And you guys let us know in the comment section. Yeah, let us know. What should we do? I'm really liking the CZ idea. I really do. Because CZ is huge. Yes, it is. I don't know. This is fun. And it's going to be uh, continued for sure. Absolutely. But so far, 6 Hour is really changing my mind, man. There you go. It's I, growing on you. Huh? It's grown on it's me. Grown on I didn't like six hours initially, well, but now well, here, well, to the dark side. The case, here you go. How about that one? There's my personal one. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. How do you like this acro? Uh, I love the acro. <laughs> I'm on my fourth one, um, <laughs> but that's due to some issues, but Aimpoint is definitely taking good care of me, so. Well, SIG is, I think my next, I don't have a six hour handgun, so six hour. Uh, maybe I should get one. You might, might want to look into that. Anyways, guys, check out cfcontest.com. Yeah. Good things happen there. Good stuff, great stuff. Um, We got some special something, what is it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, you're gonna have to go over there and check exactly. it out. Exactly, there's, uh, you're never gonna regret going there. No. We just, we just came back from Terran Tactical. Mm. I mean, maybe something was like that was uh, featured on there. Probably wink. Maybe. Wink, <laughs> wink. Probably still on there, so check it out. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed making oh, absolutely. it. absolutely. We bless. appreciate your business. Oh, God bless. Sorry. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>